Hi, I'm Jaden Bailey, and I'm in the ninth grade at SMSA. Today, I'll be talking to Meg Hall, Senior Director of Digital Marketing at the Lego Group. How are you doing today, Meg? I'm good. How are you? Good. You know, yeah, it's been a cool day. It's been a cool day. Awesome. Yes. So, can you give us a little background of what your job is, like being a Director of Digital Marketing? Sure. So, my job at the Lego Group here in the Americas so Lego is a big company, as you can imagine. Yeah. Um, we're a global brand based in Denmark. So my team is part of uh, the Lego group in the Americas. So we're responsible for the digital marketing efforts across the US, Canada, and Latin America, and Mexico, which is part of North America. Yeah. Many people forget. So our team oversees, um, we have a few teams within my team. So one of which is social media. So that's the team that manages all our content and on channels like Instagram and Facebook. Um, doing some research right now on platforms like TikTok and other emerging platforms. And then we have a team that manages content creation. So actually making all of the digital assets real time. Um, that team is called the newsroom. They do a lot of what you guys do here right now. Um, and then we have a group that manages all of our influencer marketing. So they work with essentially kind of digital celebrities as partners of our brand. And then we have a group that also manages digital marketing more holistically for our products. So we mo we, our team markets both Lego the brand and Lego the products or the, the brick sets that you would purchase um, that we're known for. For you, for you, like what's your favorite one, like favorite Lego type? Yes. So I have kind of a um, unique answer. I'm actually a Lego classic girl. So I am of the generation that grew up with Lego as just a pile of brick and you can create kind of anything that you want. And um, that was kind of a big part of my childhood was just that free form creative building. I feel like we have made a lot of progress in our um, relevance to girls, but a lot of people my age, not to date myself, didn't grow up with Lego as much as part of our play experience where a lot of boys, people like my brother, um, definitely had a, a bit closer of an experience with the brand. So now I'd say sets like Lego friends that really help girls explore uh, various career paths and a lot of their own passion points like horseback riding and um, fashion, home design. Um, those weren't available when I was younger. So I really connect with our classic sets that let kids create anything that they can imagine and then take it apart and build something new. How did you get to the position that you're at and like what type of educational? I um, was a military kid, part of a military family. So I moved around all the time growing up and I feel like that really helps me understand what I really enjoyed and I had a lot of different life experiences in a lot of different places and I um, am one of those people that was lucky when I went to college that I was really confident that I wanted to work in marketing. I just loved the idea of working in ways to help products and ideas become relevant to different people. Um, and I started in marketing at the University of Connecticut and then quickly learned that that was the market, like the stock market. Right and math was not my strong suit. <laughs> Still remains maybe one of my less strong um, skills. And I transferred into the communication school and, and started managing, uh, majoring in um, advertising and public relations. So I took pretty relatively classic coursework in that field, but also took, which I highly recommend to anyone considering a career in marketing or advertising, um, kind of a d diverse coursework on really understanding people and what pe what makes people tick, what makes people think. So I really tried to also diversify my coursework to have a more well-rounded perspective on people um, than just the learning.